Hey guys, Chris from Laser Time. Dave and I just got done with a uh, hands-on demo of the Evil Within 2 at a Bethesda event in San Francisco. Just the amount of mind effery that happens in that. I was quite pleased because I've been a giant wuss about horror games for quite some time. Uh, but most games focus on the jump scare aspect or the just to overload your senses with stuff out of the blue and shriek in your ears. And this demo, which was later in the game, never really did that. We had one really, really grotesque encounter with this Clive Barkery, Cronenbergian thing made of multiple human beings. It was disgusting. One of the Bethesda reps called human broccoli, and now I can't get it up out of my head either. If you're paying attention to the Laser Time Network, we're doing something with Nightmare on Elm Street. And the level itself that we played was pleasantly evocative of some of the coolest stuff in the Nightmare on Elm Street series. That surreal, dreamlike, fakery, you never know exactly what direction you're going, you turn around, there's not a door behind you, it's a wall. Really, really messes with your senses and not so much a jump scare kind of situation until you eventually get to this encounter with this camera and this creature that can freeze time. That is literally just a pile of flesh with a camera sticking out where the head would be. You're in a race against the clock to try and get the sound off this beacon. I forget what for, uh, but this thing is interfering with that signal and it's up to you to uh, really, really time your shots, uh, aim appropriately because your ammo is really limited. Uh, those were already enough to kind of give me nightmares for the next few weeks, but just the general layout of the, the hospital and not knowing that when you turn your back, what was there before will still be there. Evil Within 2 looks more like a horror game that I'd want to play less jump scary, more atmospheric and surreal and like something Freddy Krueger would do to somebody. And how appropriate is this? The game is out October 13th. That's not only just in time for Halloween, that's Friday the 13th, which I believe is a lucky day. I've always enjoyed the Resident Evil series and I've always enjoyed the Silent Hill series. And I like that it meshes the high intensity action and the mind effery uh, into a cool little package.